Welcome, Earthlings, from Grace. We are in the new, newest capsule, Dragon Capsule, and we are very happy with, with her. She's got a little bit of a new spacecraft smell, and we're loving, loving her a bunch. Um, it's so much fun to be up in space again, always, always fun to be in space, but it's really fun to be in space with three new astronauts. And uh, they've got a lot to share with you, uh, but we just wanted to welcome you on board, Grace. And we are here not only four of us, but we have with us our GOG indicator, Joy, that started to float with us just when we in uh, injected into orbit. Joy is floating with us all over the capsule, so sometimes we have to find him and her um, here, here with us. But um, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling to, to, to be in orbit for the first time. I, when we unbuckled, when I unbuckled for the first time, I didn't feel 100%, but uh, then everything settled, and when I looked out through the window for the first time, the view was just stunning. And where we are? Now we are flying over Europe. We have just before uh, this conference, we, we saw passing Italy, Sicily, the Greek islands, and the Balkans, and now we are going a bit slightly up north, so towards Hungary and Poland a bit on the side. So yes, uh, this, uh, this, is, this is a great moment to, to be able to see back on, on Europe, on home, on our countries, and uh, yes, Maggie. You can show the view through the window. Okay. And over to Shooks. Hello, everyone. Um, Namaskar from space. Uh, I'm thrilled to be here with my fellow astronauts, as Peggy said, one veteran and three rookies, and uh, wow, what a ride it was. Uh, frankly, when I was sitting in the uh, capsule in Grace yesterday on the launch pad, uh, my only thought in my mind was that let's just go. After 30 days of quarantine, it was a feeling that I just wanted to go, you know, the excitement and all was, you know, probably far away. It was just the feeling that let's just leave here. But when, when the ride started, it was something, like you're getting pushed back into the seat. It was an amazing ride. And then suddenly, nothing. Everything silenced, and you were just floating. You unbuckled, and you were just floating in the silence of vacuum. It was, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has been a part of this. I understand that this is not a personal accomplishment. It is a collective achievement of each and every one of you who has been a part of this journey. And uh, to make this possible, I, I really want to thank each one of you. Also to family and friends, uh, you know, your support has mattered so much. This is, this is so much because of all of you guys. We showed you joy and grace. You know, this is swan, a great symbol. It looks really cute, but we have uh, a very important swan in our um, Indian culture, which we are about. So on uh, symbolizes wisdom. It also has the ability to discern uh, it should be focused on and what uh, does not. So basically, the golden age of distraction, I would say. So this means uh, a lot more, not just, just a zero-g indicator for uh, us. And I think that we all have symbolism in Poland and in Hungary and in India as well. So I think this looks like a coincidence, but it is not that it, it has more meaning than what we are attaching it to it. The capsule itself, Grace, has been very kind. I have been feeling, uh, I was not feeling very great when we, you know, got shot into the vacuum. But since yesterday, I've been told that I've been sleeping a lot, which is a good <laughs> sign. <laughs> so I think that's a, that's a great sign. I'm, I'm getting used to this quite well, enjoying the views, enjoying the entire experience, or learning like a baby, you know, learning the new steps, <laughs> learning how to walk, learning how to control yourself. 
everything, learning how to eat, I think. So it's a new environment, new challenge, and I'm really enjoying this experience with my uh, fellow astronauts here. And uh, it's good to make mistakes, but it's better to see somebody else do that too. So, <laughs> so it has been a fun time up here. Uh, that is all I have to ha I have to say. Thank you so much, guys, for making this happen. And I'm I'm sure that we are going to have a great time. And with this, I will hand over to Tibor now. All right. Hi everyone from space. Um, we had an amazing ride, as Shuf said. Um, we were actually only a few seconds away for, from a few more days of quarantine. So even though we were sitting basically almost three hours in our capsule, our new capsule, uh, and you know those times could be sometimes really boring, we had those minutes and seconds when it was actually very very exciting even before the launch. Uh, when the launch happened. Um, it was a feeling that I could not predict. Uh, we have been trying to prepare for those uh, minutes and seconds for a long time, including the centrifuge training, including uh, fighter, pilot, uh, fighter jet trainings as well. Uh, but the rocket launch is completely something else. Uh, I was really, really happy uh, that we could do this finally. And um, we also wanted to thank you for, basically, thanks for everyone uh, around the world and every person, every team who made this beautiful day happen, um, because finally our day came. Um, when it comes to joy, uh, a team that is uh, a team that has joy is a team that is healthy. I think those words resonate with this crew the most. But it's not only us, it's um, all the teams around the world that we have been privileged to work with in the last year. Um, every time we look at her, we, we think of those people as well. We had so much fun, so much happiness during this year. Um, all those happy moments are gathered and culminated in one little, one little swan. And maybe some other words, um, this plush is actually um, a tribute to, to the one and single son in the crew, Sid, uh, because he's, he's, a, he's a son of Shooks, um, and he loves animals. So every time when I you know, look at Joy, um, I also think about the hopeful future because of that. Um, and a few words on Grace. Uh, I think we have a very deep connection uh, with her. She is taking care of us really, really well. Uh, and this is her first time in space. Uh, and also the same goes for the three of us. So I think this is a deep connection. Um, we love her. She is taking care of us. Uh, I wanted to say before that, you know, Grace, Grace flies pretty loudly, uh, but uh, but that's <laughs> but that's only that's only, only true for the uh, first ten minutes. Yeah. Ever since then, ever okay. since then, we have been really really quiet in space. When it comes to the first first impressions of Earth. All right, we have some things to show you guys. Uh, since this was the first flight of Grace, uh, we also inaugurated her. Um, and when it comes to when it comes to um, SpaceX Dragon capsule to fly for the first time, uh, we put our patch in her. So Peggy will show you that we had our first ceremony as well uh, in in Grace. So we gave her we gave her our patch. And like on our patch, the Earth is in the center of uh, of the patch. This is exactly how we see the view from from here, from Grace, from up uh, up the orbit. Uh, we all four here represent quite a big chunk of of uh, of the planet. That's what we what what we think. Um, we come from three different continents. We come from four different countries, with India. Obviously, the big country, but the, the United States, and as well, both of us representing the European Union and our countries, Poland and Hungary, 
all together we represent something around between 25 to 30 percent of the global population. And that's uh, what drove us and what we, how, how we look out the window, we see all of you, all of you back home. And um, hundreds of people who were working on the mission, hundreds of trainers that we met, hundreds of um, principal investigators, scientists, technologists, engineers, and um, uh, who, who were working on science complements for our missions, but as well thousands or, or millions of students, uh, kids, and adults, people back home following our mission. So all this mission is thanks to you, and, uh, and we represent all of you here in space. When we met for the first time, we have selected the motto for our mission was space, for everyone, and I really feel that this became even more true now, but it became true for me when we met for the first time. We, it felt like a team from the early beginning, and we just got better, more, you know, knowing each other in a better way, and we will try to do our best when we dock to the International Space Station. So this is the moment we can't wait. और नमस्कार एक छोटा सा संदेश मेरे सारे देशवासियों के लिए आ, कुछ ही देर कल एक महीने क्वारंटीन में रहने के बाद कल हम लोग लॉन्च पैड 39 से लॉन्च हुए जहां से पहली मून लैंडिंग जहां से अपोलो 11 मिशन भी लॉन्च हुआ था और इस समय स्पेस में बहुत ही ज्यादा उत्साह तो बहुत ही ज्यादा प्राउड फील कर रहा हूं और जब हम लॉन्च कर रहे थे तो मेरे स्पेस सूट पे तिरंगा मेरे शोल्डर पे था जो मुझे कहीं ना कहीं ये याद दिला रहा था कि मैं अकेले ये जर्नी नहीं अंडरटेक कर रहा हूं बल्कि आप सब मेरे साथ हैं और इस जर्नी का एक हिस्सा है तो ये आईएसएस तक जाने के लिए मेरी एक जर्नी की शुरुआत है एक तरह से अभी हम लोग कुछ ही घंटों में आईएसएस में डॉक करेंगे और फिर हम इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन पे जाके रहेंगे बट कहीं ना कहीं ये ये भी दर्शाता है कि ये भारत के ह्यूमन स्पेस प्रोग्राम की जगह एक छोटा सा स्टेप पर एक बहुत सॉलिड और स्टेडी स्टेप है उस डायरेक्शन में जिस तरफ हम जा रहे हैं गगनयान जैसे मिशंस को लेके तो मैं चाहता हूं कि आप सब मेरी इस जर्नी का हिस्सा बने आप भी उतना ही प्राउड फील करें जितना मैं फील कर रहा हूं बिकॉज़ ये सब हमारे केवल टेक्निकल एकम्पलिशमेंट को नहीं दर्शाता है बल्कि हमारे ये होप्स ये हमारे एम्बिशंस ये हमारे एस्पिरेशंस को दर्शाता है कि हम किस तरफ जाना चाहते हैं तो आइए मेरे साथ इस जर्नी का हिस्सा बनिए मैं पूरी मेरी पूरी कोशिश रहेगी कि अगले 14 दिनों में मेरा जो मिशन एकम्पलिशमेंट है जो टास्क है वो तो मैं अचीव करूं ही बट ज्यादा से ज्यादा इन इन इस एक्सपीरियंस को मैं किस तरह से अपनी फोटोज और वीडियोस में कैप्चर करूं ताकि मैं वापस आके आप लोगों के साथ इसे शेयर कर सकूं मैं चाहता हूं कि आप मेरे थ्रू ये जर्नी एक्सपीरियंस करें और इसका हिस्सा बने एंड चलिए अगले 14 दिन को एक्साइटिंग बनाते हैं और साथ में स्पेस में रहते हैं धन्यवाद Akkor végezetül szeretnék minden magyarhoz szólni a világűrből. És azt hiszem, hogy rövid leszek, mielőtt még elérzünk egy jól ég, vissza fogom adni a mikrofont. Um, tudom, hogy mennyire vártátok ezt, ezeket a pillanatokat otthon. Um, hasonlóan voltunk ezzel mi is. Az egyetlen dolog, amit igazából sajnálok az egész küldetés és felkészülés során, hogy, um, hogy amikor ezek a a, a várakozás pillanatai megtörténtek otthon a kis országunkban, akkor én nem lehettem veletek, de, de erre majd sor kerül majd a küldetés után nem sokkal. Szeretetesen um, hálás és büszke vagyok, hogy magyarként itt lehetek, és, um, és, és tényleg egy különleges érzés volt percek keresztül látni a kis országunkat a világűrből. Um, remélem, hogy, hogy ti is ennyire büszkék lesztek erre a küldetésre, mint én. Még, még találkozunk. Thank you guys. Uh, dro drogie Polki, drodzy Polacy, uh, 
Mówię do Was z, z niskiej orbity okołoziemskiej. Jesteśmy na pokładzie kapsuły Grace. Z nami również um, indykator 0G, który się nazywa Joy jako piąty pasażer, ale tutaj przelecieliśmy, żeby reprezentować Was wszystkich, nasze kraje, ale w tym również Polskę. Ja jestem reprezentantem Was wszystkich i lecimy na Międzynarodową Stację Kosmiczną po to, żeby wykonywać nasze eksperymenty technologiczne, pokazywać naszą technologię, jednocześnie przygotowywać przyszłość technologiczną Polski nie tylko dla nas, ale dla całego sektora kosmicznego, dla e, nowej generacji inżynierów, którzy będą wkraczać na, na, na rynek. Em, Natomiast misja z jednej strony jest ogromnym symbolem, symbolem zaawansowania Polski, jak Polska bardzo mocno poszła do przodu technologicznie i możemy dzisiaj to zademonstrować bezpośrednio na orbicie. Natomiast z, z orbity również będziemy mieli, będę miał możliwość przeprowadzania lekcji ze studentami, z uczniami z powrotem na Ziemi. Mam nadzieję, że niektórzy z nich wybiorą ścieżkę kariery taką jak ja. Miałem okazję pracować w niesamowitych organizacjach podczas mojego życia, w jednym z największych laboratoriów naukowych na świecie, w Cernie, zanim e, zostałem wybrany jako astronauta, a teraz zmierzamy na Międzynarodową Stację Kosmiczną, na to nasze niesamowite laboratorium na orbicie. Pozdrawiam Was wszystkich, e, reprezentuję Was wszystkich, 40 milionów Polaków. Zabieram Wasze serca, wasze, Waszą nadzieję ze sobą i czuję, że wszyscy mi tutaj towarzyszycie. Pozdrawiam Was e, i do zobaczenia już ze stacji kosmicznej. Dziękuję. Uh, somewhere we lost our commander. Uh, we need to find it, even though it's such a small space. So I would like her to come and say a few words for us, please. Well, everyone knows how much I like to talk. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's just been a great experience so far. We're really looking forward to it. We have a lot of science here uh, down below us, and uh, we're looking forward to getting on board the International Space Station and getting that underway. Um, you know, we have a lot of very high scientific goals, but obviously realizing the return of these three countries to space is very special. All right, everybody, thank you very much for bringing us on board your capsule and giving us a little bit of insight into your experience. That concludes our event for today. What a beautiful moment. I, I love seeing the four of them together. Uh, they have truly become a, a team, a crew. They come from four different corners of the world, four different cultures, and yet, as you just saw in that moment, they are doing life together. They are doing this mission as a family. Um, oh, and look at that, another shot out of the window, looking back at our home, the Earth. It doesn't get any better than that. Live of planet Earth. <laughs> a couple of things stood out there, um, Ronnie, that, that I was hearing from each of them. Obviously, we got to hear from, from Peggy and Shubanshu, Suavosh and, and Tibor there, both in English and in each of their own languages. Um, but Tibor had a, had a comment there, a, a team that has joy is a team that is healthy. And, and that, that resonates, yeah. um, that they are clearly a healthy unit, a healthy yeah. team, uh, full of joy, uh, both in terms of their own persona and their zero G indicator. Um, it was uh, incredible to see them and we wish them well in the coming hours to get to this um, International Space Station.